I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. How, are you still living in Montreal? Are you still up there? I, I, oh gosh, I, I, uh, I did the Canadian equivalent of selling out. I moved to Toronto. Oh, is that selling out? Is that considered to be selling out? That's the big bad city, yeah. No. Why did you move to Toronto? Oh, um, well, it's a lovely town, and also I, uh, I work there a lot. Okay. And if I want to work in uh, Canadian cinema, which I'm one of the few people that does, it behooves me to, to work in Toronto. I got you. Okay. Do you miss Montreal? Oh, constantly. Constantly. Yeah. Specifically the food. Mostly the yeah. food. If and I lived in Montreal, I would never stop eating. I'd eat in my sleep. I would just be yeah? eating no. constantly. That's what we constantly do. Great yeah. food up there. Yes, it's it's terrible. You you can't go to a bad restaurant in that city. Which is your favorite in all of Montreal? Okay, so there's all these beautiful kind of gourmet spots, but my personal favorite is a chain restaurant uh, <laughs> called St. Hubert's or St. Hubert, which, what? Really? Holy smokes. Nice. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Sometimes stray Canadians will wander in here. Every once in a while. So, what do they have at St. Hubert? <laughs> they, they do this, uh, they do this, uh... What's your order, your regular order? Oh, quarter chicken, fries, and gravy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a simple man. Okay, all right. Yeah. That sounds like you can't beat quarter chicken, fries, and gravy. You really can't, no. And, and in my, uh... Well, I guess it's really, I was gonna say in my infinite wisdom, but really, just in my, in my arrogance, uh, I asked if I could be in commercials for them. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> You asked them? Yeah, I volunteered. You asked the uh, guy at the counter, or I, how did I, it work? I told my manager to, I was like, hey, can you call someone at whatever, St. Hubert's corporate headquarters, and be like, I eat a lot of chicken, can I be in your commercials? <laughs> and, uh, and the reply was, well, we're very happy that he eats as much of our chicken as he does, but we don't want him in our commercials. What? <laughs> Why don't they want you? It was just such a, like, very, very humbling. Just a, every time you think you're sort of quasi-famous or whatever You know what? The make them a is. commercial anyway. Don't, you oh, don't have yeah. to get their permission That's to make fair. them a commercial. You know what? All right. I'm just going to go home and film myself eating chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, everyone. I was in Montreal last summer for the con just for last yes. festival. And we had a lot of great meals there. We yeah. ate at Joe Beef, which was uh, great. And we ate at, the, I won't name the restaurant because I think it might have been illegal, but because <laughs> they served us a moose heart. Oh, a moose, yeah. A moose heart with maple syrup, which to me had to be the most Canadian thing you could ever put in your mouth. Yeah, it's up there. That's like taking a bath with Jim Carrey. It's about <laughs> as Canadian, <laughs> about as, Canadian as it gets. Slightly more fulfilling, I suspect. Have you had moose heart yourself? I have not, no. Oh. Uh, uh, mercifully, I've avoided it. I have had uh, ill-cooked elk. and uh, Elk is great. Yeah, not not the way that this guy did it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It was it was just bloody and cold, and he could barely get the thing. Are you in. sure yeah, it, was it was cooked? <laughs> yeah, it was technically cooked. I remember I was doing the first goon in Winnipeg, and our stunt coordinator was like, "Oh yeah, my buddy's the uh, head chef at the airport Hilton in Winnipeg." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so he's gonna do a night for us. And I was like, oh, great. And, um, and, uh, and it, was, it was elk and uh, um, wasn't my cup of tea. Wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah, interesting. Well, the moose heart was pretty good. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.